In today's video, I'll be unboxing and setting up the Canon CanoScan LiDAR 300 image scanner. In this video, I'll be setting it up on a Windows computer, but I'll also have a separate video for setup on a Mac. I'll also be reviewing this scanner in a separate video. So if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe so you're notified as soon as that full review is uploaded. And if you're looking to buy one of these, I'll leave a link right below the video. So feel free to check that out. So the first thing you'll notice when you open the box up is the USB cable. Let's get that out. And next we'll pull out the package with the CD and the manuals and documentation. And let's now pull the scanner out of the box. And the easiest way is to pull it out onto a flat table or surface. I then remove the foam end caps and the plastic bag that it was in and then you want to peel off this large orange sticker and then do exactly what the sticker tells you to do which is to slide the lock button on the bottom of the scanner to the unlocked position. You'll then need to peel off the remaining orange and clear pieces of tape on the outside of the scanner and that's what we're going to do now. Then open the scan bed up and remove the two pieces of protective foam on the inside. And then we're going to connect one end of the provided USB cable to the port on the back of the scanner. Don't connect the other end to a computer just yet. We have a few more setup steps to do before we do that. And the first thing we're going to do is open up a web browser window. I recommend using Google Chrome, but you can use any web browser you like. And then type ij.start.canon into the browser address bar and then hit enter. Once the page opens up, click the setup button. On the page that follows, we're going to search for our scanner, which is the LIDAR 300. So enter LIDAR 300, select it from the drop down menu and then click go. On the screen that follows, click the download button to begin downloading the software and driver package. And you'll notice that it begins downloading on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Once it's done downloading, double click on the downloaded file to open it up. What opens up next is a software window and you want to click on the start setup button. On the screen that follows, click next and it checks for the latest software and drivers available and then it begins downloading them. On the next screen, select the country you're located in and then click next and then it wants you to agree to the end user license agreement. Click yes and then it wants you to agree to some more terms and conditions, click agree, and then it continues to download and install the software package. And now the software lets you know that it's time to connect your scanner to your computer using the USB cable. So go ahead and plug your scanner into a USB port on your computer. And then it lets you know that the setup is now complete. And you can now click the exit button to exit out of the setup menu. And to scan your first document, type IJ into the search button bar on the bottom left hand corner and you'll notice that it finds an app called IJ Scan Utility which was downloaded during the setup process. Click on that to open it up. Now when it opens up you'll notice that there are quite a few settings and features. The three most important ones in my opinion are document, photo and auto. You can use document to scan documents, you can use photo to scan photos and if you're not sure about what settings to use, you could use the automatic setting. To make your first scan, place your document or photo face down on the flatbed scanner and then just click the auto button and then it begins scanning the document or photo and once it's done it opens up the location to which it scanned the document or photo and that's all it takes to make your first scan. So this brings us to the end of our setup and installation of the Canon CanoScan LiDAR 300 for Windows computers. As I mentioned I have a separate video for Mac users and I'll also be doing a full review of this scan so stay tuned for that. If you found this video useful, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'll also leave a link to the scanner below in case you're looking to buy one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.